Hey, crafty cuties. We are at Dollar Tree. I am at a location that I've never been to. I just got done with a planner, the Oregon Planner Society meetup and um, Alistair came with me and he was so great. So I was like, let's go to the Dollar Tree. Anyways, we're here and I just had to film because this location is huge. I just saw four aisles of party decor type stuff and I figured let's just show you maybe the craft section. I'm going to give you kind of a quick view of like basically everything just so you can see how big the store is. So over here they have lots of garden stuff. There's uh, more outdoor toys over here, Allie. I'm trying not to make you guys dizzy, so I apologize. It's kind of hard when I'm walking around though. They have cards. There's a second toy aisle. They have toys all along like this back wall, which you can't see how big it is. And I'm walking around here. We're actually to the craft stuff. So here is a bunch of school type things. And looks like there are stickers over here, guys. Now, I'm not doing this because I've seen a lot of new product or anything, but just to show you how big this store is. And maybe we'll see some new stuff along the way. This is cute. I think a lot of people would like that. There are books. Tons of coloring books and just like regular books, children's books. Dang, I was thinking this might be really cool to make like a junk journal out of. I really like the cover of it. More books. So we have the next stationery section. This new kind of styled stuff. And oh, oh boy, who is that? <laughs> You know, envelopes and what is this? Um, magic cover. Hey, buddy, he keeps trying to scare me. <laughs> uh, you know, manila envelopes and things. And then there's a little blank spot there, but paper clips and office supplies. You guys know. Here's some of this washi. I feel like there was someone that was wanting this. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna pick up two of these. We have markers, pens. Okay, composition notebooks. Oh, we have scented pens. Have you guys tried those? You thought that was a planner? Yeah. And then we have the poster board and stuff. I thought these composition notebooks were super cute. Just spotted these sketch pads down here and I've been on the hunt for tracing paper. I feel like this sketch pad might be a good deal. So if you guys can get a better idea of how big this is here. So we're heading down here. Not really gonna go through the kitchen stuff. Sorry guys, I just wanna kinda give you an overview. Maybe we'll look at the organizing stuff and like decor. I saw some really cool frames, I think. Are you not gonna go through dog stuff either? We could go through dog stuff if you want. So I'm just kind of peeking and I don't see any of the newer stuff that has like kind of the floral, I don't know. But they have some really pretty pictures. So this is the other like crafty area, you know, that have the buttons and I don't know, kind of general crafty arty supplies, sequins and things like that. And let's see, I don't see anything new in this section either. Hey, has anyone bought glue sticks from the Dollar Tree? Curious. I feel like that might be a good place to buy them. They have these really cool dough sets. They're just like Play-Doh. Um, some really cool new little watercolors. Like these are frozen. Sorry, guys. Those are pretty cool. They have floral type stuff. They got some pretty little decor items. I actually like those oil warmers. Good evening, Dollar Tree shoppers. Oh. Bye, Dollar Tree.
all these cute little things. Sorry, I was holding you guys way up there. Those are really cute. Some batteries in that, yeah. I'm probably sure. Yeah, it's a candle, so it's you have candle, to put yes. batteries in this. You are correct. So they have all of those. Just kind of giving you an overview here. Huge food area. I don't usually buy food from here just because. Ooh, they have some really, these are really cute little sets, aren't those? Let's see, seeing if they have any of these new bath items I've been seeing, really nice looking bath items. Wow, really huge area back here too. Really, really big. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Yeah, wow, this stuff looks really, really nice, high quality. I mean, I've never used it, but I've been seeing a ton of uh, hauls and things where people buy these, wow. so awesome. So, I was mentioning all of the birthday party stuff. And then there's these things. They have all their little solar figures here. And last thing, these bags are gorgeous. And I know a lot of you use these like in your crafting or for planner covers. So I thought I would end this by showing you those. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this bigger location. It's big compared to the ones I'm around at least. Didn't see too many new things, but I like to bring you guys along. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. As always, I want to show you guys what I got. Do a little haul. Um, I just got four items. I honestly didn't need these, so I'm kind of like, eh, I shouldn't have got these things, but that's okay. Um, I was really happy to find these items right here. I'm really excited to try them out. They look like really high quality, um, you know, packaging and stuff. Um, yeah, so I got the coconut milk and mango body cream. I always have dry hands and dry skin, so I thought I could use that. And then same with the body oil. I am going to try this on my face and see. I don't have super sensitive skin and I like to use a oil on my face. So I'm excited for that. And then as for crafty items, just these two things are right here. I grabbed this, not for myself, but I know I promised someone I would pick this up for them. And there were some other designs, but I can't remember who that is. And I, I messaged with them, so I will be able to figure it out. Um, but I didn't want to grab both designs just because, like I said, I wasn't for sure on who it was or if it even that person still wanted it. And I didn't want to end up with extra or, you know, spending money that I didn't need to spend kind of thing. Um, I grabbed this book because I'm going to take this off and I'm planning to use this cover, obviously, for a junk journal. And I'm really excited. I am so excited to be getting into junk journals. And um, I will also repurpose and use the inside, like the pages. Obviously, it's so many pages, so I can't imagine going through all of these anytime soon. But I want to make some kind of vintage, antique looking embellishments and I want to use book pages for that. I know there's a ton of that that happens on YouTube, but I want to have my fair share at it or my turn, my turn at it. I don't know. So that's what I got guys. And thank you so much for watching. I know that not all of you like to see videos where I spend money, buy things or where I like bring you along shopping with me. So I do apologize for that. I do try to have my fair share and a good amount of tutorial and DIY videos on my channel. I know that I don't have as many as I have in the past. That's because I am working on editing some pretty big tutorials that are taking me hours and hours. So it's hard for me to spend a lot of time filming when I'm working on editing videos. And also just because I was going through kind of a hard time in my life and so I it's easier for me to do shop with me videos. I also really enjoy them and I know a handful of you do also, but I know there's those few of you that are like maybe even offended by the fact that I spend money, but you know, it is my money and it is my channel. So I will continue to share what I like and thank you to those of you who give me support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.